Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 13 of Crusader Kings 2. Let's hope that it isn't unlucky. Uh, we are currently still a Duke level vassal beneath the King of Lombardy. Of course we have managed to take a few more counties that are outside of our du jour duchy. Which means we should be able to hold on to them because we have the elective uh, monarchy uh, succession law in our capital and only duchy. Now, because our previous liege, the old King of Lombardy, died, he had enacted a forced peace across the realm, but because he's now gone, we can actually declare wars again. Now, we're in a war with this guy, apparently. Though I think that's a war between he and the Petty Kingdom of Essex, which is weird, but my liege has come in as uh, an ally in that battle. That's a little bit of a strange one. Now, we could go ahead and declare a war here ourselves because I believe we do actually now have a claim. Where are we now? Diplomatic relations. We do have a claim over here. Claim independence. So that's not what we want to do. Who do you belong to? Ah, no, that's a different uh, icon. I was thinking it was this guy. This is this is the Duchy of Friuli. That is Mercia. It's the same colours, it's just it's a, one's a horizontal vertical cross, the other one's diagonal. So ignore that one completely. So what we want to do over here is we want to declare war on this guy in an attempt to try and take whichever one of these we managed to get a claim on at some point. So we need to go ahead and declare a war on the Duke. And it's Verona we have a claim on. Shame it's not Trevisio, but we have a claim. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we do, actually, let's just have a quick look and see what his troop count is. Uh, 1.7k. We have quite considerably more than that. Does he have any allies that will come in with him? He's got a few pacts. They're all defensive packs, oh sorry, all non-aggression packs, so he's not going to basically come in and help with that. Fine, so let us go ahead and declare our war on him. Not you, we want the Duke. So declare our war on you to claim Verona. We will send that. We'll just unpause to let him know that the, the war has now happened. He does have some troops over there. So we're going to go ahead and raise... I'll just... I am going to raise the vassal levies, actually. It will upset them a little bit, but the advantage of doing that is it means if my army gets weaker, so do theirs, and they're less likely to then attempt some sort of rebellion. Most of our troops are already together. So as soon as everybody gets there, which they all are, we'll just group them all up. We can arrest somebody here. Righteous imprisonment of... Who are you? You are my vassal. You are the Countess of Florence. Okay. You got a weak claim on the County of Lombardy. You are the Count of Florence. That is weird. Let's try to rest her if we can. Yeah, we've got her locked up. I'm not too sure why we wanted to do that, but she obviously acted dishonorably towards us. So your heir. There's a lot of people, long lines of succession to get out of that. We could go ahead and release her. Not too sure what she was trying to do. Don't see any point in revoking her title. She's my direct vassal. So what was she doing? She's a known murderer. She's a kingslayer. Imprisoned. She's been imprisoned twice. Desires the duchy. Ambitious, envious, scandalous counsellor. Yeah, I think she's going to stay locked up, to be honest. So, as for this battle, let's go ahead and get our army selected. I'm not going to put ourselves in the centre. We know how often we end up accidentally dying when we're leading our own troops. So, we won't do that. We do have a flank that we don't currently have anybody on, though. So let's go and sh just get our commanders. We can get another commander here. You don't have any sort of combat skill. You have some slightly. 
So I did get a comment on one of my previous videos. Um, sorry I've forgotten the name of the person who it was. I mean, I, I have to say that's not a name that I'm familiar with, but someone did point out the frequency with which I'm using the sounds mm and um while I'm trying to think about what I'm doing. And I do completely agree and admit, I mean, it is a bad thing. It's a habit that I had when I first started making YouTube videos. It takes a while to get out of doing that. And I'm not too sure what happened, but at some point I feel like I let it lapse. It still takes a lot of concentration to just pause when you can't think of what to say and not to actually fill in those gaps with, you know, weird sounds. Position of commander. No, I do not want to be your commander. I do not want to die on the battlefield. So you might notice sometimes when I'm talking, I might start talking extra slowly or I might pause in the middle of sentences. And that's because I'm trying to think about what I want to say next and not bother going mm and um in between everything else. So I'm working on it. I'm doing my best. Uh, let's let, hope we don't get disastrous falconry this time around. I think we did the last time we attempted that. New bird was more aggressive. I can become depressed or gain plus one diplomacy. I'll have the plus one diplomacy. 13, 15, 8, 12, 10. Not fantastic Uh Stats, I have to agree. Uh, we're still managing to steal tech, which is always nice. So we're going to siege this holding down. You've already got 26% war score. We're involved in a lot of wars at the moment, but most of these are sort of liege level wars. Lucia prospers. So we're doing quite well. We've got over 2,000 prestige, over 2,000 gold. Uh, my chief jailer was seduced by my prisoner, the wily countess... He took her to his cot where she bashed him on the head with a wine jug and managed to make her escape. Did she really? So where are you these days? He's considered to be a powerful vassal within your realm. Throw the idiot in the oublette. So you're a powerful vassal, are you? What's our chance to kill you off? 106%. And she really doesn't like me. Can we arrest her? Doesn't... Oh, in prison. 35% chance to succeed. Actually failed on that one, I think. She's risen her flag in rebellion. That's fine. Do we want to become a poet? No, we'll just take the prestige. She's got 200 men. Seriously, what is she going to do? We're involved in one war here already. So we'll just allow her to sit down here. I'm really not bothered about 200 men, to be fair. He's too busy unseaging that, which is fine. How many holdings do you have here? You've got one more barony. That's going to take a while. We are getting 5.5 .5 per tick. Which is quite slow. So do you actually control one of the... Oh, we have just died. That was unfortunate. William has died. We have a new heir. Didn't lose any titles though. So the white stag. I must send people out to find it even though I'm already dead. Been appointed as regent. Have a new heir, which is our brother. Which is another William Luke. Chest pains have seemed to have stopped, so we no longer have chest pains. Okay, let's pause up, because now we've got things that we need to sort out. We still want these wars to finish, of course we do. But we do have some problems. So we have some open council positions. We need to get ourselves a new marshal. Do have some powerful vassals, but none of them with a good martial skill. So let's go ahead and make you our marshal. Everybody else is who we would expect them to be. We can righteously imprison you. You are our vassal. Well, apparently we're going to be imprisoning you for whatever reason. Not too sure what you did. Now our domain is too big. We need to nominate a successor. Now what are your stats? 5, 4, 14. You're pretty terrible. Although we don't have many other 
sort of relatives left. So we need to sort of get married as soon as we can and start to have children of our own. You're sort of craven and stubborn. Not really all that good at all. So you're actually a twin. You're dead. Yeah, we don't have a very big dynasty left. In fact, let's have a look at our dynasty tree. Uh, there's only eight living members in our tree so far. I think Anna's to thank for quite a lot of that. So we do need to try and boost things back up again. So our domain is too big. We have seven of five holdings. Now we want all of the holdings within our capital duchy. So du jour duchies. There's three holdings within our capital duchy. So we want to make sure we keep those ones. We want to give away the ones that have like the lowest levy and the lowest tax income. We don't own that one. Luca is quite low on the list there. So we give Luca away. Don't want to give Ferrara away. We don't actually... Or do we control that? Este's in here. Do we control one of these? Ah, we control this barony here. There we go. So let's just go ahead and make this into a completely new vassal. So now we're down by one. And then we'll get rid of Luca and give that to somebody else. So who do we want to give this to? We should just sort of find somebody randomly. So let's go ahead and use the character finder. We'll look in the realm. We want a man who is not in prison. Uh, we don't really care if he's married, but we'll prefer no, because that means if he dies, there's a chance if he doesn't have any children that could come back to us. Isn't already a ruler. I want him to be my religion and my culture, uh, to be an adult. And it doesn't matter if he's a member of a great house. So you are my... You're the commander of Ferrara. You are brave, but you're also greedy. And what about you... You're brave, but gluttonous and content. Okay, well, I guess you'll do. So, let's grant you a landed title, and you are going to be the Count of Luca. We can't do that yet, because the council won't allow me to give it away. That is fantastic. So, we're going to have to stay slightly over the domain limit, because we are not of age. We are only 13. Birthday's in September. I guess we have to nominate a successor. We might as well nominate our brother. Who else do we really have to choose from right now? So we've got a victory over here. While that's going on, let's march down here and just bash this army over the head. It's unfortunate that we are involved in a couple of wars. Also just realised we're a commander short on this army. So let's go ahead and see if we can sort that out. Actually, we can't right now because we are sieging. You're going to come back over there and try and unsiege that, aren't you? Which is fine because I'll happily go over there and give you a kicking again. So let's go back over there and defeat his army. You don't even have enough to siege, so I'm not worried about you at all. So we're going to be gaining a little bit more extra land that we probably don't need. So that is a win there. 70% so far. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got somebody leading this flank. You will do. Where are you heading to? You're heading into Ferrara. So let's go down. Nope, you're changing your mind. Well, I'm not going to let you siege that back. So I'll just keep attacking you. Get out of some of these wars and start to get some stability in the realm. It appears that the Countess of Apera of Trevisio has finally decided to come out of hiding, no longer fearful for her life. So that's our mother. Our mother's no longer hiding. You're going to... Um, no, we'll meet you on the battlefield again. So that's you beaten. Let's go back there and beat you again. Not too sure who this guy is. Not too sure he's in our fight. You're actually all moving into there, are you? That's interesting. I love fun and games, but the best game of all is one of tricking people into doing things for me. Loses plateful and becomes deceitful. 
Well, that's not too good, is it? Let's just pause up a moment. We are, why are we focused on this? I want to be martial education, but I can't select that. That's annoying. We're already betrothed to our cousin, who is 31. Did I arrange all this rubbish? Why am I betrothed to my cousin? Who doesn't have the best of stats at all. And is a lot older than me. Well, at least we can plot to kill her off, I suppose. Not too sure what this army is. I'm just going to go straight over here and... Start sieging out your capital duchy. So the more quickly we can get this war over, the more quickly we can go on to other things. You're actually sieging me down there. I don't know who you are and why you're doing that, but I'd prefer it if you didn't. So I am going to go and engage. Uh, you have managed to corner Count Ard Ardamaro. He resisted bravely before you slew him. We had a defeat somewhere. Right, okay. This this battle is over. So we can offer peace here and enforce our demands. We've usurped the county. So we've grabbed that. And now we need to go over here and give you a good kicking. So that's put us back over the domain limit again. And it's going to be difficult to deal with that until we're out of this regency. And our council agrees to let us give some land away. Captured a lot of people right there in that battle. Let's move in to Florence. Money has been disappearing from the treasury. I su suspect my regent. Actually, my spy master. Or you. Yeah, but there is no proof. Don't have a lot of options about what we can do there. 63% in this war. I'd still like to give... That's the wrong button. I can never remember the shortcut key for find characters. That's full stop, not comma. There we go. I'd still like to give you Luca, if you'll let me. This is one of the other things that I really hate. I'm over the domain limit, but you won't let me... You won't let me give away the county. The vote on the council is no. You're a glory hound, you're a glory hound, you're a pragmatist. They nearly agree, and I can't go against them anyway, because it needs to be a... Pre it says, going against the will of the council will be viewed as an act of tyranny, but I can't go against the will of the council. I've got a lot of money, I could try and bribe one of these guys. We could go to our marshal and uh, buy a favour. You wouldn't even agree. Could we get anybody else to agree? Our spy master or our chancellor. You're a glory hound. You're a pragmatist. Could we buy a favor from you? Yes. So buy a favor from you. We need you to accept. Now you are my... Let's go back into this again. So grant landed title. We want to give you Luca. Council will say no, but you owe me a favour. Or has he not responded yet? There we go. Perfect. Now he owes me a favour. So, I want you to call in council support. So now if I go to this guy in Grant Landed Title and give you Luca, the council will come in. So let's go ahead and do that. Lost our marshal, but that is fine. So let's get a new one. You do have some personal combat skill. You're not great, but you will do. What are you doing currently? I want you to train troops in... Where do we get the, our biggest levy? In the capital, as expected. So if you can train troops there, that will be fantastic. Everybody else can pretty much stay where they are for now. Let's go back to this view so I can see what's going on. How are you managing to siege that down with 89 men? Got a weak claim that can be pressed. The county of Apulia. Which I can claim for... Some random countess. Not really bothered about that. We should win this siege first. And then we'll travel over there and just put their army down. We've got nobody leading the centre, unfortunately. 
But we soon will. There we go. We've got that. So let's go and start marching over here. And finish off the rest of her army. Lost our court chaplain as well. We seem to be short of commanders. So you are... You have some, some combat experience. So let's just go and put you leading the centre. And we now need a court chaplain. So you can do the usual thing of going and improving religious um, reputation with the Pope. And hopefully we'll be able to get some more money out of him in the future. So we've got a victory over here. We've got 100% now. Fantastic. We don't need to progress with that war any longer. Let's go and offer a peace. Enforce our demands. Now still showing Florence as not being ours. It should be. I think there's a little bit of a, an issue there with how things are showing. Yeah, there we go. It just hadn't updated the map. I was going to say, that should be back in our control now, and it was a little bit strange that it wasn't. So let's go ahead and disband the army. And I think that's a good spot to end the video. We've managed to grab an extra county. We've also managed to lock up somebody who was a bit of a pain. What we're also going to do with this woman now is we're going to stick her in the Ublet. And then that way she'll probably die off and there'll be less chance of her actually escaping again. So with that done, let's end the video there. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you're still enjoying Crusader Kings 2. Until then, goodbye for now.